Alright, what's up fuckers and fuckettes? Alright, as per my last video, it seems some uh, some people are still struggling with the, you know, starting out process. So, I just thought I'd go into it in a bit more detail in this one. So, you get two Akumas from the mission track, right? That's pretty simple. You get two full builds. I think you get the two gold tech as well. Right, so you do the mission track once, which can be done with near enough any unit. Uh, you know, uh, your series two infantry, um, fucking Hyperions, uh, commandants, Janissaries, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, you can do it with them if you've got a boomer or two. Great, even better. Um, if you've got older stuff than that, you know, give it a go. It's still nice and easy. Um, so once you've got the two. You got enough then to get to one f uh, to do one to four of the XP track, okay? So don't try the fifth until you've got four or five Akumas. But basically, what you want to do is just do one to four. You know, unlock uh, say four extra Akumas, maybe five. You can do them one at a time to at least get yourself started. So obviously, you know, you buy one akuma from the store you buy one extra gold tech and let's say you get three one day build boosts you know that's the minimum you need to get one extra akuma in your platoon all right then you're working with three you can get through the bases much easier just using the forerunners or front runners whatever they're called the uh hot plides that they spawn all right if you were to you know struggle a bit longer um you know and get say for example five extra akumas you get them all building in a queue you get your 10 one day build boosts you can obviously get through almost all of those well probably more than five um because the boosts will continue after a build if there's another one in the queue so say you've got two akumas building the one that's you know at the front of the queue has 16 hours left you put a one day build boost onto it uh, and it will put the remaining hours onto the second that hasn't started building yet okay so they do follow one from each other so that only works if you do the uh, boost individually as far as I know okay I tried to do multiples and it just didn't have any of it uh, don't know if it was a glitch on my end or what you know some glitches you know don't happen for everyone so maybe have a go but if you want to just stay safe then you know just unlock one akuma one gold tech and then the three one day boosts all right you can do that three times so obviously two akumas become five and then you've got a one day build boost left over so by this point if you did it at the start of the event you'd have six akumas in your platoon and kobayashi if you've got them unlocked that is all you need in this event like literally that's it level one doesn't matter you know it's it's that simple all right if you've got four or five you can do the fifth base and you can add it on there as well so you do one to five instead of one to four okay that's how easy this event is you know make sure you've got build uh, xp boost on as well all right so i've just put that one on some people get confused about the two 10 percent so make sure you get the one that's four days that one's what five gold for two hours ten gold for four days it's obvious get the one that's you know four days you can't have both 10 percent basically is what i'm getting at all right so make sure you got these boosts on uh, with the boosts, you get uh, 800,000 XP for an ultra base. You can do, say you average one every 10 minutes, yeah, it's 4.8 million XP an hour. That's not the way to go. You do the XP track one to five and you can get, you know, around 6 million per hour. You know, that extra 1.2 million an hour makes a difference. You know, if you're even quicker with the bases, or if you were to coin Akumas and have two platoons of them, you could do it a bit faster. Um, you know, or just pile them all into one platoon, get through each base even faster. 
you know the more hoplites you've got spawning the quicker they'll run through everything that's basic common sense so i'll crack on with the bases but the only other thing i wanted to point out was um damn it tiny you bastard i'd already started that one fuck it um so if i just scout this one right so you've got the chronos guns and you've got the scatter shots there right these are the only turrets that slow you down and give you a sort of cryo effect right so uh bases two three uh and five yeah because four hasn't got any um so two three and five you've got chronos you've got scatter shots you take them out first and then the rest of it you can just basically walk all over without much hindrance okay so hopefully all of that makes sense sometimes obviously you know that one for example when i get to it you'll see me split the group of hot plates into two groups i'll take one up the left one up the right it can only fire at one group okay so that's how you get around them most of the time instead of just one group that's getting held up so keep an eye on that you know that should all be relatively straightforward but if you need any more information on it or anything like that drop a comment on uh, on the video in the comment section and yeah i'll uh i'll crack on and show you how long it takes to do the whole run with this method uh let me just find a one because tiny stole that one like a bastard <laughs> um there's one right so we'll go down here all right i'll also do most of them without taking a single hit you know some like the fourth base you know you might take a hit it'll be about three seconds worth of damage it doesn't matter you know using this method you don't even have to go back to your base to repair you know there's no fucking around it's just one base to another to another to another all the way through your event all right so video is now at seven minutes and nearly 30 seconds so i'll crack on and we'll see how long it takes my cough <laughs>
is the future. future.
know But they don't know what they They say they know But they don't know what they I come from a small town So a little bit of talk on go round But that's okay, I'm on my way Never slowed down, I did it my way Came out the town, hit the highway All for the town where my heart stay Now I'm in the city, went overseas and they riding with me Met up with fans out in Norway 5,000 miles from my old ways That's a lot of distance from the old days A lot of difference couple years make Not a minute that I would trade Not a second that I could change Everything that I went through made me everything that I am They say life is what happens when you've been busy making other plans I just learned who I was through doing all that I've done Living off what I live for and I live for what I love yeah. People staring at me everywhere that I go They try to judge me when they don't even know The half of my story just would only the told Cause they feel they should expose me for all
mic on. So, as you can see, nice, quick, easy, you know. You don't have to come back to your base every time and repair the platoon, obviously, as you saw, three minutes. You know, you can do it taking no damage at all. You just keep the Akumas further back and don't bring them as far forward as early. Um, you know, that was just to do it a little bit faster, but actually it took me about the same amount of time as it normally would. So you're looking about 15-ish minutes per run, 1 to 5, on the XP track. Still a damn sight more than you can earn on ultra bases, so don't bother with the ultra bases. You know, it's all the fucking around with materials to get the missiles and everything else. If you saw my video on doing the ultra bases, you would know. It's, uh, yeah, it's just too much of a fuck around. So, ugh, obviously I'm not going to say it's hard to get thorium or metal and oil. It's really not, but, you know, yeah. It's just annoying. I'd rather just be out there, go base to base to base, you know, not coming back to my garage for, like, five runs or... Uh, garage? Fucking base. Been playing World of Tanks too long. Um, yeah, so... That's all I can really say on it. Hope this helps. Like I said, if I've not covered anything that you know you've got questions for, put it in the comments below. Uh, anything else? Same thing. Leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one, fuckers.